Good morning. Thank you, Jennifer. That was beautiful music. Just a couple of announcements here. Um, Prime Timers is on the 28th. We will have election of consistory officers on the 31st um, during right after church um, um, 9.30 service, or 9.15 service, listen to me. Um, we need one elder, two deacons, and one trustee. That's what we'll be voting for. So if you're willing to run for consistory, please let a consistory member know, and we'll be sure to get you on the ballot. Prayer shawl is Tuesday evening, December 12th. This week, I'm trying to remember when bell choir is this week. Tuesday. Is it Tuesday? <laughs> okay. <laughs> okay. I was trying to remember it. I couldn't. Um, the Kiwanis, we are still collecting food um, for the Kiwanis through the 20 uh, 22nd. They're given out the 17th. So through next Sunday, yet yeah, the... Containers are in the foyer area out towards the front door. Today is the deadline for the Bethany gifts. If you forgot yours or didn't bring it, please touch base with Jerry Amabile. He will be picking them up here. I'm looking for Jerry. Um, he'll be picking them up here on Wednesday morning early to take them down to Bethany. So if you forgot your things, have them here by then or touch base with Jerry. And also the Devitt House gifts are due today, and those are on the pew that's at the far back here in the overflow room. There are um, updated lists that Pam put out of our shut-ins, so if you have a chance to send a Christmas card or give them a call over the holidays here, I'm sure they would appreciate it, and the updated list is um, in the back there. Elaine Rocky, I know, has an announcement. I don't know if your microphone's on. Now you are. Um, our Veterans Christmas Remembrance will be this coming Saturday at 10 a.m. in the morning. And I want to have a sincere thank you go out to everyone that has sponsored wreaths and to those helping with the event. And there are some uh, wreaths to be sponsored yet. So if you're interested, see me after uh, church. And just so you know, we have a beautiful patriotic service planned. Um, it should be less than an hour, and uh, you don't want to miss it. So please join us. All are welcome uh, next Saturday day morning, 10 a.m. Thank you. Okay, Terry Young is going to be our photographer uh, for the event, and um, she said that she would be uh, willing to t photograph anyone who needs their picture for the instant church directory. So she will be here before or after. Uh, you can grab her if you want her to take uh, your picture uh, for that uh, directory. And there's an announcement in the bulletin as well to go with that. If you have updated addresses, phone numbers, emails, please get them to Pam so that we can keep that directory updated so everyone has a way of getting in touch with each other. And I think Dave's got an announcement. Yeah, next weekend is the uh, Buffalo Valley Singers Christmas concert, Saturday evening at 7 and Sunday afternoon at 3 at St. John's UCC. Promised to be a pretty good concert. Can you get tickets at the door for that, Dave, or do you yes, need them ahead of time? Yes, tickets at the door. Okay. Anybody else have any other announcements? Bonnie's got a mic there, and do you want me just to announce? Or we are going to have life group downstairs. We'll meet after church, and we are having Sunday school in the back as well. The group will be meeting in the overflow room, and Bonnie will have the kids downstairs as well. So. Please stay for Sunday school. Um, just a reminder, there is coffee, tea, hot chocolate in the back there. Please help yourselves to that on this lovely Sunday morning we're here. And thank you to everyone who stayed last week for our brunch and Carol Singh. Um, we had a great time and there was a good group of people there. We are going to try something a little different for the first Sunday through the winter time here and do a brunch of sorts of some kind.
So the first Sunday in January, we're actually going to do a soup and salad brunch for everyone. A little bit different than what we used to do. You don't have to buy tickets or anything like that. We'll have a sign-up sheet in the back that you can sign up to either bring soup or bring something to go with the salad. And then we'll have desserts as well. So mark your calendars for that the first Sunday in January that we'll do a brunch downstairs again. Okay, if nobody has anything else, we'll ring the bell to start worship. Good morning. Good morning. We gather together on this second Sunday of Advent to celebrate the new life that is ours in Christ Jesus. As we welcome God's presence with us this morning, we give thanks for God's blessings and the praise that we receive for the love that God has shown to us in Christ Jesus and through the gift of the Holy Spirit. We give thanks to all who are gathered with us this morning as God draws us together to be one people. We thank you, Jennifer, for sharing your uh, talents with us this morning. We invite the congregation to rise as you are able as we begin with our call to worship. A voice cries out declaring God's presence. Comfort, oh comfort my people, says God. A voice cries out, declaring God's equity. Valleys shall be lifted, and hills be made low. A voice cries out, declaring steadfastness. Grass withers, flowers fade, but God's word stands forever. Morning. Um, so you see we're doing two songs today instead of just one. So the first song is a familiar one, but just the Christmas version. And then we're doing um, a new song called Noel. So yeah, please join me first in singing Your Name, the Christmas version.
right. So like I said, this next one is a new one. Um, so we're just gonna we're just gonna do it because we're gonna go through it and just do your best to follow along, and then we're gonna sing it again in two weeks. So we'll get to do it again. All right. May the grace and mercy of our Lord and Savior Jesus Christ, the love of God, and the communion of the Holy Spirit be with you all. Let us pray. Stir up our hearts, Lord God, to prepare the way of your only Son. By his coming, nurture our growth as people of repentance and peace. Through Jesus Christ, our Savior and Lord, who lives and reigns with you and the Holy Spirit, one God now and forever. Amen.
Congregation may be seated as we invite the children forward. the North Pole. I went through the Lincoln Tunnel. And through the seven levels of, yes, candy, cane. of a candy cane. And through the twirly, swirly gumdrops. Through the twirly, swirly, somebody has watched Elf. <laughs> wow. What are you looking at, Mav? Do you like my shoes? He, he looks like a cotton-headed ninny muggins. <sighs> He's from the South Pole. <laughs> hey, so how are you today? I'm doing great. I was, I just think this is such a lovely day. Even when it's raining, it's not really raining. It's showering us with love. That's it. Very good. Yeah. So we're, we're, we're a church today. And oh, we are? We are. We're a church. <laughs> And you know where, what this is? It's Dreisbach, United Church of Christ. Is this... A, yeah. are, so, are, are you lost? Do you think I am? <laughs> what I want to ask you is, why did you ask me here? Because you must be lost. I must be. Yeah. Well, well, we're, we're going to try to figure this Christmas thing out. Okay. Right? So we're, we're two weeks away from Christmas. Two <laughs> Two weeks away from okay, Christmas. Okay, okay. And 15 days. 15 days. 15 days. I can count to 15. Okay. okay, okay. So what we're going to try to figure out. Okay, let's figure it out. It is what we like best about Christmas. I love Christmas. I love Christmas. Oh, right. Okay. So, so what do you love best about Christmas? Presents? Yeah. Elf? I don't believe her. You like Elf? Yes. You like Christmas? Best part of Christmas, like the best thing yeah. ever. Go, go. Yeah. That's cool. Yeah. So, so we got two guys over here who I know love Christmas. I love Christmas too. Favorite part of Christmas, go. Gifts. Gifts. Yeah. Coffee. Yeah. <laughs> Favorite part of Christmas. Go. Looking at me. <laughs> I love Christmas. I just love yeah. So 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 sometimes we get together like this, mm -hmm. and we invite people like this to be able. <laughs> to share their favorite things about Christmas. Mm -hmm. Now, one of the ways that I like about sharing about Christmas is, is uh, treats. I love, I love treats. Is, I have a question. Right? Treats? Treats. Is so, there sugar in treats? There are sugar. <laughs> I love treats. And, and so you like the four major groups, right? Sugar, sugar. Sh candy canes, candy canes, candy corn, candy corn, and, and syrup. And syrup. Yeah. Does it so, all have sugar in it? Raise your hand if it all has sugar in it. Yeah. I so, love sugar. What, one, of the, one of the traditions uh, that I learned in northern Germany, up in Schleswig-Holstein. Oh, that's good, yeah. Yeah, that's okay. good. Uh, is on the second Sunday of Advent, okay. they have what's called a love feast. Now, that particular area of Germany is dense with Lutherans and Moravians. 
So they can't help that. So I'm one of those. I, I'm a dense Lutheran. I, I was going to tell you that. Yeah, I, you told me that before. Yes. Yeah, yeah, okay. Yeah. yeah. So we have some gifts to give everybody. So when we're giving these gifts out, I want you to go around and ask people what their favorite thing about Christmas is. I think that's a great right? idea. Yes. Yeah. Okay. So we have some goodies over here. Okay, let's go. Come on. Okay. So grab one of those, Liam. Grab one of these. Can you hold my cup of coffee? Okay, don't drink it. Quinn, you're going to go with me. We're going to go over here. Sam is watching. Okay. Yep. Come on, let's go. You're going to give one to everybody. Let's go. Come on. Let's, let's go, right? Okay. Favorite part of Christmas, go. Being with the family. Oh. Favorite part of Christmas? Oh, family. Oh, family. Yeah, start handing these out. Oh, give him a, give him a treat. Favorite part of Christmas? Tammy's Jesus birthday cake. Tammy's Jesus birthday. Ooh, can I come over? It's got sugar in it. Kenny, oh, Kenny. Favorite part of Christmas? People smiling. People smiling. Favorite part of Christmas? Me too. Me too. Ooh, good. Oh, I like Larry. Favorite part of Christmas? Carving that 20 some pound ham that I'm going to have to call once again this year because there's a big group coming to the house. Oh, Larry needs counseling. And I'm a vegetarian because all I eat is sugar. Favorite part of Christmas? Uh, I love our candlelight service we have on Christmas Eve here and having all my family. Oh, and favorite part of Christmas? Excuse me. <laughs> my kids all being here. Remember, remember. Oh, and, and kids at home. Sure I don't think gets... I can get up now. <laughs> yes. uh, uh, he lost it a long time ago. Okay. Did you give him candy? Good. Get you. Oh. Favorite part of Christmas? The music, singing carols, coming to church, and the family, and giving gifts. Oh, fa la 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 la. I love it. Oh, beautiful. Oh, Donna. <laughs> it's a stare down. Christmas cheer. Smiles on people's faces. Ah, oh, smiles on people's faces. Hold on. One final one. Favorite part of Christmas? Christmas parties and Christmas plays. Christmas parties and Christmas plays. Fantastic. This was so fun, and I just lost five pounds from running around. So I can eat more sugar. Do you want a coffee, buddy? No, buddy doesn't need any more coffee, me. does he? No. Yeah. Okay. You know what's funny is uh, I can't even find my wife because I wanted to embarrass her. Where is she? Oh. <laughs> I love you. 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 Do, do you get tucked in? <sighs> yes, okay. I good. do. Good. Good. Come on. Okay. All right, very good. Are you, are you covering your eyes because you're tired or are you embarrassed? I think he's embarrassed. And the best thing to do on Christmas Day is embarrass your loved ones every single day. No, I think Liam's just hoping he doesn't grow up to like like Pastor John and Uncle Jerry. Yeah. That, oh, yeah. I don't want to. I don't want to be a grown up. You don't want. He doesn't want to be a grown up. Well, don't worry, I'm not either. <laughs> it's okay. Yeah. So this is a very special time, right? And, and 
one of the things that we've heard is we like to celebrate sharing with family and friends, smiles on people's faces. And today, this second Sunday of Advent, uh, we light a candle, and that candle is a candle of peace. So would we like to get up and light this candle? Great. Okay. Okay, so Liam, you want to go up and light off of the top here? Careful coming down. There you go. We're going to light this one over here. Very good. Almost. There we go. Just sit it on here. There we go. Yeah. So now we're going to pray, okay? Thank you, God, for sending your son, Jesus, into our lives, who promised peace and love and help us to share that peace and love with everyone. As you yourself taught us to pray, our Father, who art in heaven, hallowed be thy name. Thy kingdom come, thy will be done on earth as it is in heaven. Give us this day our daily bread. Forgive us our debts as we forgive our debtors. And lead us not into temptation, but deliver us from evil. For thine is the kingdom, the power, and the glory forever. Amen. Thank you so much. So I have some special things for you. So under the, both of the trees, there's some gifts. So you're welcome to grab one gift. Buddy, one gift. One gift. One gift. No, time, not time to go yet. So you either get a Rudolph or a, a snowman. I think there might even be some Santas up there. So, you want that one? Do you want the snowman? Okay, there you go. You take the whole bucket. That's all yours. There you go. Did you get you a bucket? I don't need a bucket. I just need a hug. <laughs> You're lucky I'm not a raccoon. Thank you. Okay, you didn't sip it.
It was nice to have uh, Elf and his wife Jovi back there visiting with us today, and, and even Pop Elf over there in the, in the corner. Our, our scripture reading today, our first scripture comes from the uh, book of Isaiah, chapter 11, verses 1 through 9. A shoot will come up from the stump of Jesse. From his roots a branch will bear fruit. The spirit of the Lord will rest on him, and the spirit of wisdom and of understanding, the spirit of counsel and of might, the spirit of the knowledge and the fear of the Lord, and he will delight in the fear of the Lord. He will not judge by what he sees with his eyes or decide what he hears with his ears, but, the right, but with righteousness he will judge the needy. With justice he will give decisions for the poor <coughs> of the earth. He will strike the earth with the rod of his mouth. With the breath of his lips he will slay the wicked. The righteousness will be his belt and faithfulness the sash around his waist. The wolf will live with the lamb. The leopard will lie down with the goat, the calf and the lion and the yearling together, and a little child will lead them. <coughs> the cow will bear, the cow will feed with the bear, their young will lie down together, and the lion will eat straw like the ox. The infant will play near a cobra's den, and the young child will put its hand into a viper's nest. They will neither harm nor destroy. On all my holy mountain, for the earth will be filled with the knowledge of the Lord as the water covers the seas. Our second scripture comes from the second book of Peter, chapter 3, verses 8 through 15. But do not forget this one thing, dear friends. With the day, with the Lord, a day is like a thousand years, and a thousand years like a day. The Lord is not slow in keeping his promise, as some understand slowness. Instead, he is patient with you, not wanting anyone to perish, but everyone to come to repentance. But the day of the Lord will come like a thief. The heavens will disappear with a roar. The elements will be destroyed by fire, and the earth and everything done in it will be laid bare. Since everything will be destroyed in this way, what kind of people ought you to be? You ought to live holy and godly lives as you look forward to the day of God and speed its coming. The day will bring about the destruction of the heavens by fire, and the elements will melt in the heat. But in keeping with his promise, we are looking forward to a new heaven and a new earth where righteousness dwells. So then, dear friends, since you are looking forward to this, make every effort to be spotless, blameless, and at peace with him. Bear in mind that our Lord's patience means salvation. Herein, herein, <coughs> here ends the reading of our second scripture. May God bless the Holy Word. Am I on? Okay. I thought since this was the second time here that my family's been here that you all have had us that I would introduce myself so you could get to know me a little bit better. My name's Jennifer Johnson. I'm 23-ish years old. <laughs> I am from Williamsport, Pennsylvania. I am married to my best friend and love of my life, Ray, who is sitting in the back there. I have three beautiful children. I have three boys. Ashton is 15. He attends Middlebrook Christian School in Milton. And I have a 13-year-old Carter and a nine-year-old Blake who are homeschooled. Um, I would like to thank the elf for his love of sugar as a type 1 diabetic for 40 years. <laughs> Give out all the sugar you can for me. Um, I am going to bring out a little bit of my southern accent because I have been to Nashville and I pray that's my home someday but I just want to say y'all are so nice every time I come here y'all are so nice um, I just I love being here um, we attend Grace Covenant which is up the road here and we drive by every Sunday and honestly I pray for you I am thankful for you you guys are always so sweet um, 
I, it's Christmas time and we're supposed to, you know, be thankful for the greatest gift of all, which is Christ, and um, not just for Christmas, but every day. I mean, we just can't thank him enough. But um, I also want to say thank you to Bonnie. Bonnie's the reason I'm here. Um, she's a beautiful example of Jesus to me outside of this church. Um, I met her during several surgeries, and she has helped me not only physically heal, but spiritually as well. Um, she is a best friend to me. She means so much to me. So go out and tell others and um, know that I do pray for you all and I appreciate you all and that um, there are people outside of this church who live his example every single day. So thank you again for having me. I appreciate you all. And um, from the bottom of my heart, y'all are great.
Heavenly Father, gracious Lord, we humbly bow before you at this hour to give you thanks for the many ways that you pour the abundance of your love into our lives, into our hearts. When we sing, O come, O come, Emmanuel, and we can hear the angels sing and the shepherds give praise and the church gathers together. We give you thanks for the many gifts that you pour out upon us. This morning we heard those gifts, the gifts of song and music, the gift of laughter, the gift of hope, the gift of celebrating your love, the love that comes down from heaven to us in Christ Jesus. And through the gift of the Holy Spirit, that we may share your word in all times and in all places. Receive these offerings as a token of our thanksgiving for the blessings that you pour out upon us, for the ways in which we are able to share with one another and the world around us the hope and the peace that comes to us through Christ Jesus. In his holy name we pray. Amen. The Holy Gospel according to St. Mark, the first chapter. The beginning of the good news of Jesus Christ, the Son of God. As it is written in the prophet Isaiah, See, I am sending my messenger ahead of you, who will prepare your way, the voice of one crying out in the wilderness. Prepare the way of the Lord, make his path straight. John the Baptist Baptist appeared in the wilderness, proclaiming a baptism of repentance for the forgiveness of sins. And people from the whole Judean countryside and all the people of Jerusalem were going out to him and were baptized by him in the river Jordan, confessing their sins. Now John was clothed with a camel's hair, with a leather belt around his waist, and he ate locusts and wild honey. He proclaimed, the one who is more powerful than I is coming after me. I am not worthy to stoop down and untie the thong of his sandals. I have baptized you with water, but he will baptize you with the Holy Spirit. The Holy Gospel of our Lord. Grace and peace to you from God our Father and our Lord Jesus Christ. Amen. Today is the second Sunday of Advent, a time of preparation, a time of anticipation, a time to give thanks to God for the many blessings that we have received, a time to focus, focus our attention on the way that God has chosen to come to us in Christ Jesus and to focus our attention with one another. To remember God's promise, to be able to hear the angels sing and the shepherds give praise, and to remember all those who have gone before us, who have shared that good gift that God has granted to us in Christ Jesus. This is an opportunity for us today to share our joys and our concerns uh, because we gather together as a family in faith, people of God, sisters and brothers in Christ. We have been blessed this morning with the opportunity to gather together. 
to hear God's mighty word and God's glorious promise that comes to us in word and in song, in laughter and in praise, celebrating the good times and focusing on where it is that God will continue to lead us from this time forth forevermore. For when the angels sang glory to God in the highest and peace to God's people on earth, the angels are simply singing and reflecting the praise that God grants to us to listen, to celebrate, and to hope. So are there joys and concerns that we may be able to share this morning with one another? One back there first. I'm asking for prayer for a six-year-old girl named Reagan who is having problems with her vision. Prayers for my sister Eileen uh, going on surgery on Tuesday. And that, Jerry, that's in New York, correct? I have a joy. I'm just glad the kids are moved into their new house. <laughs> <laughs> Time. <laughs> now you you know the way to live it's now. It's like a, it's a... I have um, two prayer concerns. One for Gary Stroop, um, health concerns. He has some odd things happening from his cancer, and they're not sure what's going on there. Which is a best friend of my husband's, and also we're facing putting our dog down in the next week or so, and my husband is struggling terribly. So prayers for him, please. Prayers for my sister Donna, and hoping that she can make it up to see her family at the Christmas holidays here, but there's great doubt that she will. This is a joy. Uh, are, are we ready to sing? And Chad and Michelle, I have a joy too. The Yankees didn't get Otani. <laughs> Mike? Um, well, once again, Sunday can't go by without me saying something. Um, just, just joys. Uh, I've been surrounded by people that are just amazingly supportive and I, I appreciate those those people just to no end. Um, so we just we all need to recognize the the community around us. Um, I also recognize that uh, you know somebody took this elf off the shelf this morning, <laughs> and and I'm thinking, can you imagine the joy if if that elf and uh, Uncle Jerry got together. But between the wine and the caffeine, it would be just a, a it, it would be an event. And the theologians call that the eschaton. <laughs> and happy birthday, Chad. You made it through another year. This is a joy. Um, You've been praying for my brother Wendell, and he's able now to uh, get out of the wheelchair, and um, 
we were able to save um, his foot and his um, everything is healed up. Thank you. Following up on what Mike had said, uh, it's a joy to have Jerry with us, but it's an even bigger joy to see all of the smiles on people's faces as he uh, uh, shows his lack of mental health. No, no response. I'll just say a special thank you to Jennifer and her family again for joining us this morning and sharing your talents. Any other joys or concerns? Then let us bow our heads in prayer. We began this morning by calling upon you, God, to stir up your power and come to us. Come to us with the hope and the promise that you reveal to us in Christ Jesus. Stir up your power and come to us in ways to bring healing into this world. The healing that comes to nations and peoples near and far. The healing that comes in body, spirit, and relationship. As we call upon your healing presence, we ask that you would continue to be with Tony and Mel, Joan and Jonathan, Reagan and Eileen, Wendell and Gary, Bob and Donna, Linda and Dolores, Kitty, Jeff, Mary Lou, Brian and Cameron, Betty, and all others whom we name before you now. For we recognize that in your presence there is hope, there is healing, and there is salvation. As we enter in this time of Advent, we give you thanks, gracious Lord, that you have empowered us to prepare the way of the Lord through acts of repentance and forgiveness through opportunities of togetherness in Koinonia. We give you thanks, gracious Lord, that you draw us together as the body of Christ, as sisters and brothers. We give you thanks for the gifts that enable us to laugh, to experience joy, and to realize hope. But you also embrace us with the courage and the power to believe. And in that belief, to reach out to one another share our gifts and to bring holiness and wholeness to the world. We understand, gracious Lord, that this world in which we live can sometimes be a complicated and complex mess. And yet you draw us together to be able to hear the angels sing, to hear the shepherds praise, to walk like St. Nicholas and bring hope to the children of this world. We 
understand, Lord, that there are times in our lives that cause us to question, that lead us to wonder, particularly when that which you animate throughout the world, our pets, the animals, and it hurts. It hurts to see any suffering. And sometimes as we watch that suffering, it elicits hurt in us. But you are a God who favors life. And even as the angels sing and the shepherds give praise, we also remember words from Holy Scripture, from St. Paul, who mentioned that nothing, not even death itself, will be able to separate us from your eternal love in Christ Jesus. We give you thanks for the opportunities that we have to share our gifts with one another the gifts that reach out to Devitt House and Bethany, the gifts that we share with family and friends. Because the promise of peace is a sweet time. A sweet time in which we can move forward, knowing that nothing that we have experienced But even the very depths of darkness around us, where the shadows that we sometimes walk among, nothing at all can take us away from the love that you've shown to us through Christ Jesus. So as we continue in this Advent season, help us to continue to prepare the way of the Lord to make crooked paths straight, to raise the concerns of the valleys into mountaintop experiences of hope, of life, and the sun that you shine upon us. Help us to move forward and give thanks as we anticipate as we share, and as we love, as we love the same way that Jesus loves us. It is in his holy name that we offer our prayers, giving thanks and praise, and walking in his steps. Amen. And may we join together, rise as you're able, and sing, O come, O come, Emmanuel.
Awesome things will you show us in your righteousness, O God of our salvation. O hope of all the ends of the earth and of the seas far away. May the fields of the wilderness be rich for grazing, and the hills be clothed with joy. May the meadows cover the, ourselves with flocks, and the valleys cloak themselves with grain. Let them shout for joy and sing. And may you crown the year with your goodness, and your paths overflow with plenty. <laughs> 